हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मनीष पांडे वेलकम बैक दिस इज फिल्टर आउटलुक ईमेल पार्ट टू वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच वाज लेफ्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो सो विल कंटिन्यू विद द फिल्टर आउटलुक ईमेल यूजिंग लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स एंड विल लर्न हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई मल्टीपल फिल्टर्स लाइक सब्जेक्ट एंड सेंडर टू रिसीव डेट हाउ कैन वी यू नो पुट मल्टीपल फिल्टर्स इन फिल्टर एंड देन वील लर्न हाउ कैन वी पुट द एडवांस फिल्टर so let me open ui path studio and then we can start here so here i am just going to first tell you how can we use logical operator it means and or right so first i am going to show you that you know that we need to uh, write all this filters in the double quotation because it will take string only so first i am going to write here from equal to so i am going to just filter only emails which is sent by uipath r at the gmail.com and where the subject is report right so for that what you can do you have to write here from equal to and then sing in the single quotation you have to write that name so currently if i will double click on that it shows this right but if i will try with this i don't think it will take because uh, by default it is taking like this ui path r at the gmail dot com so i will try with this and now if you want to put multiple filter then this is your first filter where you want to fetch the emails where from equal to ui path r at the gmail dot com now you want to check here and you have to write this and operator and and now again you have to write this and subject where subject should be report so again you will write here equal to and report now delete all this space so by this way you can write multiple you know filters you can use and operator now press okay and then we can take here one message box and then i am going to show here email dot uh from and then i am going to show uh, this thing also email dot subject dot to string dot string now let me run this control f5 so we are getting this from email id and this subject line okay so currently we have only one email which is sent by ui path r at the gmail dot com and the subject is report now let me check with the test uh where the subject is test now run this right so this is our subject and this is from 1 2 so we have two emails right now the same way if you want to apply or condition so you can just write here or so what will happen it will check this one it will fetch all these emails where from equal to ui path r at the gmail dot com and subject equal to test so or subject equal to test so it will fetch this one also and it will fetch all this email which is sent by this email id right so this is our or condition now run this so you'll see here we'll be getting the dif different subject line also because uh we put there or subject equal to test so first it will fetch all this emails which is sent by this email id and this 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 right so we have written here top 5 that's why we we have received five emails now same as this 
if you want to uh, put here and not so what will happen it will go and check if from email id will be this and subject not subject should not be test so what will happen it will fetch all these emails where from equal to this email id but subject should not be test let me run this so you will see here we will be getting only uh, the mails where subject is not test right we just got report title test one and then attachment not test right so by this way you can uh, put logical operator and then you can you can apply here multiple filters and if you want to one more time then again you can write here and and then you can put another thing like 2 equal to let me put here 2 equal to single quotation again I am going to put the same thing that gmail dot com now run this again so it will just fetch only those emails where from equal to this email id and to to equal to also this email id right so we have five because all these emails sent to that email id right now we are going to let me delete and now i am going to show you the advanced filter let's say if you are not applying any filter here so what will happen you will get all these emails here right so one by one in the for each loop you have to check the condition and you have to fetch as per your requirement now let me take one if condition here so that i can show you how can we put advanced filter right now let me increase this email numbers count this is top 10 now here if you want to apply filter then you can write here if email dot right now if you want to uh, put the condition based on subject so if email dot subject dot you can write a dot contains it means if in this email subject if it has you know this word any specific word then only we should fetch that email or we should download the attachment or we can reply to that mail or we can forward that mail or we can save that mail or we can move that mail you know we can perform lots of things after putting that that you know condition so if we found the subject that contains report let's say if you go and check top 10 emails and if it has a report in the subject so we can currently we are going to show a message here so currently i'm just you know for the demo purpose i am showing you message box but you can do lots of thing here after this if it is just yes, then you have to, you can do you can perform the next step if it is false then you can fetch again or you can do something else right so i am just going to show you here that subject age and then in the message box subject is not report subject does not contain report subject contains report now let me run this so we are getting this one subject does not contain report Now this one again, second email, subject does not contain report because it is going to check one by one all these emails. So first email this, it does not contain any uh, report in the subject message. So that's why uh, first time it goes to false and second time it go goes to false. Now third time it will show subject contains report because it in 
top three emails we got this report now fourth will be false then again false 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 so 10 times it will show you here message box right now if you want to uh, show something like let's say if you found that your condition if you found that message and then once you found then you want uh, you want to exit from that so you can put a break activity here so what will happen once it will go to the true here it means it is you know found that subject that is a report so it will exit from there and it will you know print the next one now let me run this so first time it is showing does not contain second not and third it is showing yes contains now it will break the loop it will exit from there right so same way we can you know put the filter here or you can change you know the text as per your requirement if you want to check here uh, if the subject dot contains attachment attach any company name any anything any word you can put here now if you want to apply here let's say if you want to check if email dot from dot contents so if you are not getting this contents then you can do one thing let me try with the sender dot okay so you have to do like this sender dot to string dot now you can put here so by this way you can check you can apply the method here and then you can check here if this email dot sender dot to string dot contents ui path r then it will show here email dot from now run this so this right now it's showing subject contains ui path r so we have written here that if it contains ui path r so yes this from it has ui path r that's why it is in the true section right so by this way you can uh, put the filter here same as this if you want to try here email dot if you want to check here in the body message email dot body if this body contains let me check here if you want to check this happy automation if email dot body dot contains this happy automation then we have to say this happy automation otherwise we can write here try again right now run this so this time it will go and check right so first time it is showing uh, try again because in this first email we uh, there is no any word this happy automation now in the second email we'll get this now press ok you got this because we have in this second email now it will exit from there or if you want to continue then you can remove this break so same as this you can uh, put here you know multiple filters here you can check let me uh, we have lots of things if you want to check here if email dot subject dot let me check if uh, we have length so you can check here if email dot subject dot length equal to uh, 5 if any emails which subject length is 5 it will show here so let me show here email dot subject control f5 so it will go and you know read the length of that subject so first time it's not 5 because the length is the subject length is 
more than 50 so it goes to false now the second time again because it has no subject it it has just re now third is it has uh, two six now again it has more than more than more right now you can see it has the title and the length is one two three four five right so that's why we got this title subject so by this way you can put you no know, multiple thing here you can find as per requirement you can use here so most of the time we just use contents if you found these videos helpful for you then you can support me by donating any amount you can if you want to donate then you can just go here and you can click on this donate to support uipath rpa so it will redirect to a paypal here and you can see the url paypal.me uipath rpa and you can see my logo and my name so you can donate any amount you can choose the currency and then you can click next to proceed with the payment so thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you really if you really like this video then please like and if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and and please press the bell icon so that you can get my videos notification and if you have any question you can comment on video thank you